ओके इफ यू वर टू आस्क मी फॉर माई डेफिनेशन ऑफ सक्सेस आई वुड से द प्राउड लुक ऑन माई मदर्स फेस एवरी टाइम आई रीड समथिंग ग्रेट दिस माई मदर and after the birth of my third brother when the when the doctor suggested sterilization surgery my mother refused and she said she wants a daughter and she got me after two years <laughs> when this is my school uh, when the neighboring uh, kids were put in a, into a small school local school which provided free ration and uh, free books my mother put us in this biggest school in our locality which had the best library and the best uh, librarian teacher kamla my mother was a very genuine person she didn't believe in fakeness you know she used to always tell us say what you mean and mean what you say if you don't then you lose yourself some day and uh, when we were doing counseling and i they were telling us about congruence counseling students will know uh, i realized how wise my mother was this is my dad He used to feed me every day and tell me stories, and that's how my love for stories started. And later on, when my when my daughter started going to school, he used to make chicken soup and take it to the school to feed them during interval. Uh, these are my brother. I you you, should, you know everybody should, is lucky if you have at least one person who is like totally offering you unconditional unconditional support. My elder brother John is one of them. he offers me unconditional support and i'm lucky to have a brother like him ramo has influenced me a lot i was 19 when he came to my town to perform after that i started writing letters to all the magazines saying that i want to interview ramo and the sun magazine from delhi agreed and i interviewed ramo and that's how my journalism career started kema is the second person i interviewed and uh, hema is a very great soul what is admirable about hema is she is very down to earth like remo and whether she is meeting the pm or she is meeting the gurka her nature her attitude her affection is the same this is rajni my friend who is in the audience it is because of rajni i landed in uh, bombay because uh, she told me about the journalism school in pune simbiosis and i did my journalism over there thanks rajni this is my 2 am friend john from chennai very supportive and very loving this is my editor bharti pradhan she was the first she was the one who gave me my first break as a film journalist what is admirable about bharti is that she doesn't believe in politics you know there was no politics we were like family and we are still united and in touch every day this is the magazine i used to work for show time it's a sister concern of uh, stardust this is my photo shoot here to do photo shoot also with mamta she was feeling uh, a bit uncomfortable wearing the swimsuit so a friend of mine who had accompanied me gave her the dupatta and she did she completed the shoot i have interviewed everybody from aishwarya you know sharuk uh, ajay devgan but the one who is closest to my heart is jackie shroff he is a true gentleman and a very down to earth help helpful person anybody any fan coming to him for money he would be the first one to give them this is my husband he has been very very supportive in everything i jump from this to that every second every week there's something new that i want to do and he's been very supportive of everything that i did of course we have our fights and especially after counseling the whole attitude has changed so it is like when he, before i would keep quiet now i don't now i during one of the fights i told him don't guess like me he, he was so baffled he didn't know the meaning of guess like after that he stopped fighting with me probably doesn't want to know any of new psychological terms these are the often boys they try to teach and very sweetly what they would do is bring two two chocolates to me every day and say sister has given it to us uh, to give it to you you know this was a, so small chocolates that i knew that it was their share of chocolates that they were giving so you know givers are givers whether they are rich or poor this is i when i used to go to a old age home in margaon where i did it for a year every week i used to go and meet them so this was during covid where we had to give masks 
and it was a big experience. COVID was a big learning experience about how you have to be there for the others. This was when the migrants were going home and there was a special train. This is in Margao. And it was very scary because we didn't know whether, you know, how COVID, everybody was scared of COVID. So it was very scary whether we should go and help. But then something said that kindness is very, very important. And so everybody must be knowing Ketki. Ketki is a counselor. And uh, when I, I had done a small many courses of counseling, but then she suggested that I do a full-fledged course of, so I did of Nir Nirmala's. And what is admirable about Ketki is she loves to mentor you. That is a very unique quality in a person. Sister Pushpika is no longer with us, but I remember her a lot. And these are the faculty and students of Nirmala's. It was great fun last year. Nothing is complete without the mention of my daughters. These are my two daughters. They are like my in-house counselors. I go to them whenever somebody says something to me or somebody has not paid me. And they are like, it's OK. It's part of life. And a journalist called me up and said, do your daughters read your wardrobe? And I said, no, my daughters don't. It is me who go reading their wardrobe. So she had to change the angle of the story and put my version to it. This is me wearing my daughter's dress. <laughs> Thank you and I hope you enjoyed it.